right so let us finish off this extraction of metallurgy of aluminium with this question what does this question say but still i have elegant diagram related to this I'll, when i do the elegant diagram i'll try to finish that part of aluminium in that so what does it say how is aluminium used in extraction of copper uh, chromium and manganese from their oxides so basically they are asking us the uses of aluminium here now what should you remember first most important aluminium is a very good reducing agent right so just right aluminium is a good reducing agent when it is a reducing agent what do we learn reducing agent are those which uh, themselves undergo or they get oxidized and reduce others yes so what happens here when i'm going to take oxides of chromium chromium oxide is cr2o3 manganese oxide is mn3o4 now when i'm going to add aluminium to this both i have to show the reactions isn't it now i said this is a reducing agent it itself gets oxidized aluminium gets itself gets oxidized too this is your chromium and al2o3 reducing agent now here also the same thing aluminium acting as a reducing agent so itself gets oxidized uh, and releases out manganese to its from its metal oxide to metal right so metal oxide to metal and aluminium gets oxidized this gets reduced and this gets oxidized that's it so the very important reducing agent factor so let me balance this okay 2 and 2 okay this is balanced now this is 3 isn't it mm, yeah 3 if i take okay mm, this is 4 if i take yeah this i take n 8 and this is 9 let us see if i have balanced manganese is 3 3 is a 9 then done oxygen 4 3 is a 12 done 4 3 is a 12 aluminium is 8 here here 8 oxygen is for three yes yes this is how it's balanced done now this one also aluminium is two here chromium is two here okay done so this you can write this use uh, for aluminium and one more thing you should remember aluminium is also used in alumino thermite process which you have also seen you can write that also it is used in alumino thermite process for joining the rings yes